These are the Xreal Air 2 Pro display glasses. They connect to various devices via USB-C or, with a few extra dongles, anything with HDMI support. This includes game consoles, laptops, phones, and more. They allow you to view and use your device while on the go when bringing a monitor with you isn't ideal. I've looked at several different display glasses this year, but the Air 2 Pros are my new favorite. Let me tell you why. Let me quickly address our capture limitations. There is no way to directly capture what I'm seeing when wearing these glasses. To help you get a better sense of what I'll be talking about, we've set up a GoPro as close to the glasses as we can in an attempt to capture more real-life visuals. The glasses also have a proximity sensor located above the nose pads, which we've placed a piece of tape over so that they won't turn off when the GoPro is in place. As someone who travels a lot and takes road trips often, I absolutely love bringing a pair of these glasses with me. They let me play my Steam Deck or Nintendo Switch on a much larger screen, I can watch movies from my phone while being more immersed in the media, and the image is sharp enough that I can even plug them into my MacBook if I want to get some work done. The Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses have two 1080p OLED displays, one for each eye. All the computing is done in this large brim at the top. The image is shot down towards this angled lens, then directed forward for you to see. This means the display isn't actually filling your entire view, but just what's inside this section of it. I looked at the original Xreal Airs, as well as the VTour XR glasses earlier this year, and I'll link to that comparison video. At the time, I preferred the VTour for a number of reasons. But I'm happy to say that Xreal came back swinging and addressed some of my key concerns with their latest model. First, let's talk about comfort. One of my disappointments in the first Xreal Airs was that they didn't have any way to bend the arm's position, which left me feeling like the glasses pinched inward on my head uncomfortably. They did feature three degrees of movement in order to adjust the lenses slightly, and the Air 2 Pros have this too, but now the arms are slightly bendable. This means that pinching pressure is gone and I can wear these glasses for much longer periods. The Xreal Air 2 Pros weigh 75 grams, which is actually a little less than the original model. Like before, they come with three different nose pad options. One of my absolute favorite features from Vitour was their electrochromic film. This allowed the glasses to dim the surrounding area of the lens, making the display easier to see in bright light. The Air 2 Pros have adopted this function. Pressing this button near the front of the right-hand arm will toggle between mostly transparent, darker, and almost black. I love seeing this brought over to Xreal since one of my main complaints was how hard it was to use their glasses outside or in bright sunlight. And just like before, they come bundled with a plastic cover to protect the lenses and block out even more light if you really want to immerse yourself in your media. Xreal also sells this beam accessory that introduces some fun features when using the glasses. You connect the glasses to one end and your device into the other. This accessory is also how you connect to HDMI products, such as an Xbox or PlayStation, with a USB-C to HDMI cable. You can also use this to connect to a Nintendo Switch without a dock. The beam also has buttons along the side to adjust volume. Keep in mind that while the beam is portable, it does have its own 3.5 hour internal battery that you'll have to charge, which is annoying to think about, but the silver lining is that it will also give a bit of power to your connected devices. With the beam, you can adjust how the image is displayed. By pressing this orange side button, you can switch between three different display modes. The first is Smooth Follow. In this mode, the display will follow your head movement. The second is Body Anchor, which locks the display in place. This allows you to position your floating monitor in a convenient location while you turn to look at something or someone else in the room. Both of these modes will also let you adjust how large the display is and how far away it appears from you. With the settings most comfortable for me, that display looks about this large for me. The last is Grid View which will shrink the display down and place it into any corner of your vision. I love this feature since it means I can have a show or something playing in the background while I'm working or doing chores. When not connected to your console or phone, the Beam has its own dashboard of apps. I didn't really use these that much, but they do allow you to use Netflix, Prime Video, it even has a folder manager if you wanted to store videos on the Beam itself, since it has 32 gigs of storage. The Xreal Beam costs $119, which is definitely pricey, but considering how many other devices it lets me use the glasses with, I do recommend it. Although, I wish I didn't have so many cables and dongles lying around when trying to game. What I like about the Xreal Air 2 Pros is that they now sit more comfortably on my head, so I can use them for longer sessions without pain. I also love that they added in the electrochromic film that I enjoyed so much on Vitour's glasses earlier this year. And when you pair these with the beam accessory, it opens up a lot more great use cases and customization options. What I don't love is that the beam accessory almost seems required for what I wish Xreal had built into the glasses themselves. 
I also wish I could plug these directly into my Xbox, PlayStation, or any HDMI device without needing an accessory. The Xreal Air 2 Pros cost $449 and are the best display glasses I've used so far. And for now, they're going to be my go-to travel accessory. However, I'm still dreaming for a setup that doesn't require so many cables and accessories to use. And maybe one day all this tech will be wireless. That would be really cool. But what do you think? Have you tried out display glasses before? Do you like them? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.